Man, so tell us about your strategy a little bit. Let's get into it. Uh, I, I trade, um, I try to analyze the higher time frame. So like the four hour daily, one hour. And then I look for supply and demand areas, right? So like a gap, an order block. I also look at um, support and resistance. And, like, and then I follow, for my entries, I like to enter around the quarter price levels. Because mm-hmm. I just like- Discount, I, I just like buy I, cheap, right? Yeah, I just like the, well, I, I don't know, but I like the the, the idea of numbers. You know? Oh, you're talking about like, okay. 25 zone, exactly. the 50 Whole zone, numbers, whatever. the 75, yeah, yeah. the OO, mm-hmm. you know, so that's how I trade. Bank levels or whatever. Exactly, yeah, yeah, psychological, that's what they say. Mm-hmm. Psychological levels, yeah. So you're only so entering basically, on those. So basically, just to keep it short, supply and demand, and then- uh, You're saying order block, that's that's ICT, then you know a little bit about that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, but I don't really consider myself, I, I, I'm not gonna be like, I'm, I do ICT. You know, yeah, yeah. If, if if you want to put a name on it, price action all all over, like mm-hmm. all over, you know, because I've learned it all, literally liquidity. Uh, I, I learned a little bit of ICT, like the videos. Yeah. Yeah. And um, smart, smart money concepts. I learned it for like a year. You know, I was trying to do this. It's like, a lot. It's a lot to break. Yeah, down. yeah. I was trying to do like the order block, like like literally have the stop loss order block. But like it didn't really. Getting tapped? Nah, not really, bro. You know, I lost a lot. So I was like, nah. You know, but like little by little, I found my little formula. Yeah. You know. That's the thing. You can't always just go 100% on any like formula online, right? Yeah. You have to kind of adapt it to meet your personality, like you said. Yep. It's about that, you know? Because like if you have patience, you can swing trade. You know, you have the patience. If you're too impulsive, don't, don't, go, don't look at scalping. You're going to lose a lot. So you got to find that middle ground, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, for me, for me, for me. No, 100%. You have patience to go for, you know. But for myself, I needed that middle ground, that little 15, 20 pip stop loss, mm-hmm. 30, 40, you know, which some people consider it scalping maybe, but like not really. So yeah, that's my middle ground. And I found success on that. And what's your risk to reward? My go-to is 2R. 2? Two? 2R, yeah, yeah. That's my go-to for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, at the beginning, when I started, when I, when I when I started, but like when I started like learning smart money concepts, you know, the idea was to get a big RR, yeah. you know? But the thing is like, I would get a... I'll I'll get a trade of like I'll make five percent, but then the next day I'll take like four L's. It's like what? Now I'm four percent down. No, four percent. I only have one percent. And your TP is still so big and never has. So it's like I don't know. Like I I rather um have like a decent win rate with a decent RR mm-hmm. and feel confident. You know, just keep smacking it's them. About, it's about confidence, exactly. But if I'm losing so much, I'm I'm just not gonna feel confident coming in the next trade knowing that I'm a win. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why I had to shift. Yeah, I had to shift to like a different, uh, you know, RR. Do you think if you were able to get your stop loss down to like ten pips, that that would change your game? I could do I could do ten pips. Yeah, I, I did it, but like I feel like ten pips is also, um, like, see, I'll be trading at work, so I shouldn't be doing that. So I feel like I need a little bit more space, you know, because like it'd be distraction sometimes, and like I feel like Room ten breathe, pips yeah. and less you need like precise entries. So how am I be like somebody distracting me? You know, like, mm-hmm. you know, so it's just bad. Like, And you're taking trades from your phone? Yeah, you I've been trading on my phone. Yeah. You ever use a computer I've, to I've trade? I've been having to thug it out, you know, on my phone, make money on my phone, you know? Other people be saying that like, it's not good to do that, right? They be like, yeah, you gotta treat it as a business. And I understand that. But sometimes you gotta use your time at advances, you know, like you gotta- if, You gotta just make if it If I'm work, able yeah. to trade at work, I'm gonna trade at work. That's my hustle, you know? You know, yeah. Like, so I, that's you know, yeah. And uh, what would you say if you can go back mm. to 2016, let's say IML, right? Okay. And you were able to talk to yourself right yep. now, and give yourself one piece of advice mm. for your trading journey. What would okay. you tell yourself? In IML days. Yeah, like when mm. you're first discovering this. That's a good. Oh, I know. What? Not put so much money. Don't put so much money on the, on 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 when the, you're fresh. Yeah, man. Go on demo. Yes, a hundred percent. Cause like you you really think you know what it is with the with the MLM company and not not to throw shade. I'm not trying to be that guy, not negative guy, but it's like off rip first day. Yo, put a hundred dollars into your account. Yo, like, you know like down the road, I started realizing like yo, this is not a game, bro. Like, what? You, they just keep dumping money in. You're gonna lose money, like. You don't know nothing. Even even signals. If people give you signals, right? Um, to me, like, 
in IML, they was giving me signals, right? So I, when they, they gave me a signal, I was up like, let's say you're up like $50, right? When you don't know nothing about RR, you don't know nothing about risk management, you're gonna $50, oh, I'm about to take that, right? But maybe you, only, maybe you risk $50, that's 50% of your account. So people don't know, you know? So when, when I start, when I believe I went back, that'll be my advice. I mean, go to demo and learn properly, learn mm -hmm. risk management. Because at the beginning, I didn't know about risk management either. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like, I'm gonna put a thousand dollars and then my first trade, I'm gonna risk $200. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's OD.